everyone, Angel Yo here. Welcome to my channel. I know you are wondering why I am in my room. Nakalagay naman sa title that I will be showing you guys how I take my Instagram photos and how you can possibly enhance a place and make it IG worthy. Well, I am still gonna show that to you guys. The reason why I am in my room lang ngayon, it's because nawala ko yung start and end clips ng video. That is why I want to do this sit down video. So I can welcome you guys in my channel. So anyway, uh, I've explained myself why I'm here in my room. So if you want to see how I take my Instagram photos and how you can enhance a normal spot into something IG worthy, just keep on watching. and I am planning to do a video that will show you guys how you can turn normal looking places into Instagram worthy spots. Let's see how this will turn out and then I will upload it. I upload it. Okay, so we're gonna walk around and then I'm gonna find a spot and then we are gonna try to take photos on that spot that I will find. So I found this one spot here. There's a clean pedestrian and then nice leaves. Let's see how we can turn this place into something nice. Well, it's nice, but something nicer. Yeah? Let's turn this place into something nicer. Babe. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so he's gonna take my photos. Yes. So, it should not be too harsh. Like, it's not too harsh. So, if I go here, it's better. So, it's not too harsh. So, this is the first spot that I found. And I decided, instead of taking photos straight from the front, with the leaves on the background, I wanted to shoot from the side for a more unique-looking photo. Stayed in the middle part of the leaves because that's where the best lightning is for me. Not too harsh and not too dark. We tried to be playful, that is why we used the leaves as the foreground to make the photo more artsy. So we're actually lucky because we're shooting here on a Saturday. There's not a lot of people, so tip to shoot on weekends so that there's no parking. And yeah, you can just walk around. I'm like on a weekday. Yes. Okay, I think I found my second spot. So I'm gonna shoot here on the fence. Let's see. I'm actually not sure kung paano pa. I want something clean, so I have two choices. I can use the greens or I can use the white background up here. And I think I'm gonna choose the white background. Second spot. I chose this area with a fence. It is something normal or cliche spot to take street photos with, but but I want to push myself and figure out how to make this place extra. I took photos from the low angle, so the shot can include some of the greens from the trees at the ass. It makes you way taller and slimmer. <laughs> I found a pink door here. I'm thinking if I should shoot on this pink door through these leaves. So we're gonna use the leaves as a, for as a foreground. Thank you, Ma. Can't find a spot because it's pala. After a long time, we found our next spot. I thought at first this would be a very challenging spot since it was a bit dark. But since the sun was out, natural light really helped to use this spot because of the small neon light there. I took this video from a low angle to make the place look more parang mas malaki siya. And it makes my legs look more longer. Okay, on the sidewalk. 
Um, I figured that we could shoot through here. It's the foreground. And then let's do a candid shot. Then a bit low so I will look taller. So I want to share with you how I take walking shots too. Since it's a popular pose actually, like a candid shot or a motion shot, I don't to do it. This kind of shot, I suggest that you take it on bird so you won't miss any possible good shot. I opted to shoot through the leaves since it's an ordinary sidewalk at hindi siya pedestrian. I wanted to add something more on the frame, kaya I decided to use the leaves. I want to try to use this wall for a portrait. Yeah, we'll try. We've done a lot of full body shots, so I'd like to have a half or portrait shots this time. These sunglasses that I have from Sunny Studios, so I can play around with it. To make it more playful, I use my hands, like reaching out to the camera or something like that. Anything that you think can make the shot more artsy. Yep, yep. Ang cool ko tignan dyan. I found this spot and I figured that that is a nice background and the trees there. Ito lang yung medyo hindi ganun kaganda so we will try to shoot it this way. But the background will be nice. So, part here which I randomly saw while walking. It doesn't look that nice. The background is workable. I see the tall buildings so I wanted to give it a shot. I to take a photo of me sitting on this area right here and then it will be a low angle shot. Para ito yung mga buildings sa likod. Wait guys, sorry, hindi pa pala last spot yun. We passed by this leaves right here and I think it will be nice if I show you guys how you can shoot in this kind of location. Hey, it's just a tool. It's a bit risky for those who have sensitive skin by the way because the leaves can tend to cause irritation. So if you have sensi sensitive skin, kayo na bahala kung gusto niyong gawin. Basically, I'll be in the middle of the leaves then the leaves that are near from the camera will be used as the foreground. We shot this from eye level. I shot looking down since the leaves aren't that high, meaning if we take it from below, makikita yung cloud. Then it won't give the illusion of being in a big garden. And of course, you also have to find a good and patient photographer. And mine is Baby! Baby! Hi! Hello! <laughs> mine is Brian! So, so, that is it, guys. That is the end of this video, and that is how I take my IG photos. Yeah, that's siya. I mean, it looks easy, but mahirap pa din siya sa totoo lang. That's it, guys. That's the end of this video. That is how I take my Instagram photos, and how. I enhance, try to enhance normal spots here in Manila into something IG worthy. Again, to round it up, number one, you have to find a spot. Medyo madali lang maghanap ng spot unless na picky ka. But for me, I'm sometimes picky but sometimes I want to push myself na parang if I see something na medyo mahirap pagandahin, I still try to take photos in that location because I want to push myself to think more and it will help me to be better in what I do. Kasi kung parati lang ako dun sa comfort zone ko na ah, dun lang ako sa maganda, dun lang ako sa maganda then I will never learn. Hindi ko matututunan kung ano yung mga pwede ko pa palang gawin. Dan ko sinabi para lang sa number one. <laughs> anyway, let's head on to number two. We have to check the lighting of the place. Kasi especially sa mga cameras na hindi ganun kaganda sa low light. Hindi ko minamalit yung mga ibang cameras or phone cameras. I'm just saying that in reality, maganda yung mga photos ko sa gabi or sa low light. It's because I am using a camera that is good in low light. So, kung hindi low light ang specialty ng camera, then you have to choose the best lighting. Kung sa taas siya, like straight here, kitang kitang eye bugs yung may shadow siya sa face nyo. So, as much as possible, it's here, it's the side or it's the side. Kapag ganun, kapag galing sa taas pa pa, yun yung nagkakashadow yung face nyo. Number three, 
over here, you have to choose the angle. If you want this from below, it will make you taller, slimmer, or if you want this eye level, maganda rin yung eye level. Ako, I go for eye level and from below most of the time. Or number three, if you want this from above, walang problema. It actually depends on what shot you want. And lastly, you have to be playful. Playful in what way? You have to be playful with your surroundings. Like me, I like using foregrounds. So for this video, I think I use mostly leaves. Help your photos to be more artistic or to put more art in your photo if you be more playful with the photo. You can also play with your props. So you can use sunglasses or your jacket or yung kamay mo, tulad ng ginawa ko sa photo. So anything, you have to be playful. You have to think out of the box para gumanda yung photo mo. Okay, let me end this video. Thank you, thank you so much guys for watching. If you learned a thing or two, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And of course, don't forget to comment in the comment section kung gusto nyo nung, kung gusto nyo ng mga ganitong videos like how to post on a photo or um, how to edit, mga ganun. Kasi anything connected to this, comment comment down and also comment nyo kung ano yung pwede ko pang ma-improve sa mga videos ko. Comment nyo kung ano yung mga natutunan nyo. Anything. Just comment anything and I will truly appreciate it and I will read them of course. And guys, syempre huwag nyo naman kalimutan mag-subscribe on my channel. Click the, uh, click the subscribe button down there. And I'll see you on my next one. Bye!